so we're already inside of our f-150 pickup and we have a trailer that we want to get connected now i've already gone ahead and made sure that everything behind us is clear and i'm going to go ahead and temporarily disable my rear parking sensors what do i need to do next so first let's start putting big one reverse okay i can handle that all right uh first thing you're going to see here is the reverse camera view um, so this allows you to, to help you line up your ball with the coupler uh, of the trailer. As we get closer, we'll turn on the hitch ball view, which is uh, a zoomed in view of just your hitch ball. The other thing you see here is you have your red, yellow, green is an indication of how close you are to an object. And then what about this black line? What's That's my, is this my line? Cause I see it's coming off the trailer ball here. Yeah, so essentially it's a line to indicate as you're turning the steering wheel, it changes, but it helps you line up a little bit better to tell you where your hitch ball will be with the steering angle that you have. So I'm going to utilize that along with my distance, and let's see if I can uh, get this on the first try. Just remember as we're backing up to remember you use your side view mirrors along with the rear camera view. All right, let me focus in on this, and then when you're ready, you can go ahead and switch it over to that trailer hitch view for me. So now that we're getting closer, I'm going to turn on your hitch view. Okay. Uh, you have two different ways of doing it. You can hit just the plus sign and okay. you can do it through the menu. Oh, wow. Okay. Man, that's a big difference. So now with that, it definitely helps me in getting and making sure because all I want to do now is just make sure the top of that ball disappears underneath my hitch. I think I'm there. How did I do, Bobby? I think you're perfect. All right, good. Now, one of the things that you told me is that when I get ready and I've got my hitch and everything aligned, you said that I should put it in park. All right, yes. So put it in park. And then what was the second step? You want to turn on your park brake. Okay, that's right. Right, so this is, you want to do this before you take your foot off the brake pedal um, because you want to keep the vehicle from shifting. You spend a lot of work aligning the tow ball up with the coupler. You okay. don't want it to move out of place. That makes sense. And so now I've done that. I have my park brake on. I put the vehicle in park. I'm gonna go ahead and take my foot off the brake pedal. No shift. One of the things that's big now is coming up is the Pro Trailer Hitch Assist. And that's new for 2023 uh, and for the Super Duty in particular, right? Right. All right, so tell me a little bit more about that. So with the Pro Trailer Hitch Assist, essentially what that uh, allows is that you can press a button mm -hmm. in the vehicle mm -hmm. and the vehicle will automatically back up the ball on the hitch to the coupler of the trailer. And the system will control the speed, uh, it will control the steering, uh, the braking to make sure that it's right, I mean, you, you're right under the coupler. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that I can press a button and it's gonna do all of that work that I was sweating beads of sweat to do <laughs> that you were teaching me, it's gonna do that for me. It's gonna do that for you. That's amazing. Now here's the other great thing. Not only is that available for the Super Duty, but that's also available, gonna be coming up on the F-150, right? It will, yes. That's huge. Yeah. That is gonna be a game changer. Bobby, are you setting me up to be able to do all this towing by myself <laughs> and me not call you for help anymore? Is that what's going on here? Well, we want the we want the customer, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more uh, about some of the other features, right? We want to try to get the customer where they can do all this by themselves. They don't necessarily have a second person there if they don't have it. That's great, that makes sense, okay.